Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler and you've arrived at day 35 of the 100 Days of Zen Tangle Project 2020. Thank you all so much for being with me today. Our tangle is going to be changing by Zen Tangle headquarters, uh, Zen Tangle HQ as I like to call them. And this is a tangle that has been around since almost the beginning. I think uh, this was one of the original set of tangles that they came out with. And um, I have looked at it many times over the years, tried to draw it several times, and never really been successful. So uh, I wanted to challenge myself and you today and see how we do with changing. My perspective about drawing has changed quite a bit since the last time I tried this, and we are going to find out whether I can, whether I can conquer it or not. So let's see how we can do this. I drew this over and over in my sketch pad, still was not getting anything I wanted. Uh, thought about changing up the tangle, thought, Cindy, that's a terrible attitude to have. So uh, I kept working at it, and I finally realized that this doesn't have to be as hard as I'm making it, okay? So what we wanna do is we want to put a slight curve and then come down with your bottom line about uh, perpendicular to, or, you know, straight from the tip, straight down from the tip here, okay? Now, we're going to continue to make some of the, to make these shapes going down to the bottom, and they will naturally get larger. Try not to worry about getting larger, okay? So what we want to do on the next one is put our point up here at the top where this last one stopped. Let me zoom in a little bit. Or a lot. Okay. So we're going to make another one of these shapes and we're going to tuck it right here. My first tip for you is, is when you draw your second and further elements down, make the first stroke end right after uh, it crosses this line right here, okay? And then the second one can be as large and crazy as you want. Okay? So already my symmetrical mind is thinking, oh my God, we've got to fix this. This isn't all the way in the center. It's not gonna look right, blah, blah, blah. Don't sh tell your inner mind to shut up. <laughs> I don't normally do that, but tell it to shut up today. Then come in here and make another one of these shapes. Doesn't have to be perfect. Make your first line end right there after uh, the second stroke down from here. All right, that gives you the opportunity to adjust that a little bit if you want. Okay, and so we're gonna make our second stroke right down here it's going to be fat and i'm going to keep uh trying to line my second stroke the end of my second stroke still up here with the tip of this and this might help me not to have such a wobbly um leaning tower of pizza kind of uh an effect to this okay so now i can draw this out to where i want it to come and i'm going to put this right here I'm not gonna worry about all the rest of this stuff. As I go, I'm gonna black in these little uh, holes that are left. And then I'm gonna pull my second stroke and try to aim for right about the, the middle midpoint of this line here, okay? Once again, I'm going to pull the same type of stroke, aim for that middle point and that is going to help you keep this uh, sort of kind of lined up, I hope. Once again, this, this tangle was a struggle for me until I stopped letting myself overthink it. And once I stopped letting myself overthink it, it started to turn out a little bit better. So I'm going to start here, uh, right up here. And then extend this over. 
These holes are going to get bigger as you go. That's fine. You can do other things in there if you don't want to black them. Pull the second stroke down here. Now that ended up being skinnier, right? Let's draw it again. You guys are already bored, aren't you? You had this about an hour ago. So my dorsal fin, trying to keep my bottom, the end of my bottom stroke straight up or down from the point. Okay, then I'm gonna take this and curl it over here, come around, stopping right after the downstroke of that other one. Now finish that up, put a little black in there. Now I'm gonna draw my second stroke around, bring it down about to the point, right? Then I'm gonna bring this one black in and now I'm going to bring the second stroke straight up and down okay or close to that now this was the part that I was having problems with I was starting my next stroke right here and coming down when what I needed to do needed to do was to follow this right here bring my next stroke like this and then bring this over okay and then my next stroke from here and my next stroke from there and that seems to get larger faster like that. Okay, I, I think I'm getting it. Let's give it the old Zentangle go, no mistakes, right? We're going to try to live by that philosophy for this 100 day challenge and or project and see what happens. I'm going to start by breathing. So this doesn't stress me out in any way. You know, if, it, if I have an unexpected result, I'm going to do my best to finish up anyway and see what happens. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a border. I'm going to go ahead and make it the way I like to make my borders, all wavy and weird. And then I think for a string... I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do a pun uh, changing each way like this. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, so I kind of like having a little guideline that makes me feel a little bit better. So I'm going to start with this one in the middle, and again, try not to stress myself out. and make that nice and fat. It's been eating for the last month. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off as I go with a little blacking. Now I'm gonna draw my second stroke, nice and wide down here underneath the point and stopping, right? So my next one, I think I'll have start about here. And I'm gonna go ahead and black as I go. If this is confusing to you, go ahead and draw it and then black at the end. Okay, I'm gonna draw my next stroke again below this point. And feel free to make that nice and fat. I am into the fat today. So this one is going to come from here. And we're going to make this one nice and fat as I get larger. 
no, as the, as the pin strokes get larger, <laughs> just kidding guys. All right. Uh, I wanted to apologize to you guys yesterday. I know I promised some work with ink tints pencils. Uh, I decided as I was preparing for the video that, um, not very many probably were going to have that. And I again wanted to stick with my um, philosophy of trying to do things that everyone has available. So I stuck with a standard colored pencil and I apologize to those of you who were interested in the ink tints portion of that. Okay, so my next stroke is going to start here where this one stopped. And I'm gonna stop it right after here. And then I'm going to bring this line over here. And then I have my area to black. Okay, so now I need to put my second stroke coming from here. So I'm gonna start here, make it nice and big, come right down here at the bottom. And it does not matter that this is big on one side or, or small on the other or whatever, it's all gonna work out. And remember, I'm going to go from here to finish my next stroke. Okay. And this one is going to come over as well. And we're just going to end this one right there. And we're going to pretend we have one coming from there. So let me black here. Uh, for those of you who liked my Tangle Marito, I thank you. Please, 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 if you do any art with it, I would love for you to tag me. Um, I love, uh, re I, and I will save it uh, to my account so that I can uh, look at it. I, it makes me feel good, okay? That's the only reason it makes me feel good. And I think that should be a good enough reason to do things these days. You know, so much of our lives is out of our control, so we might as well have some stuff in there that just makes you feel good. All right. So here's one big one. So I'm gonna turn my towel upside down, and this is just me. Again, you can do as you will with yours, okay? And I'm gonna let, I'm gonna start with my little leaning one over here, and I'm gonna let it lean and see how funky we can get. And you guys know it's me, so probably really, really funky. Mm. Yes. Really funky, okay. And and again, I'm going to try to end these in the approximate vicinity of beneath the top point, okay? Goodness. And I'm gonna come from this line right here and make my next stroke. And remember, you're just doing these um, sort of um, dorsal fin shapes. Some of them are gonna be longer and uh, bend more, but they're all going to be basically the same shape. They're formed in the same way with two uh, slightly curved strokes of the pen. We've been doing that a lot lately too. So I'm gonna come from up here, almost overshot it. And this is gonna be my blacked area, okay? I'm gonna take my next stroke and go behind this Okay, keeping that, trying to keep that up and down from there. And I'm gonna start here. 
Okay, and this will be blocked. It will be in a minute. Okay, so my next stroke is going to come from here. Is that right? Oh, I forgot to finish this one, didn't I? Hmm. Once again, outsmarted myself, didn't I? But it all works out. Okay, so we are going to, now I'm wanting to punzel this baby. In punzel, what you do is instead of having this uh, start with points, when you have these situations, you come out with another ribbon shape and then do that. So I'm kind of excited to see, uh, check that out now that I sort of am getting into the hang of this. It has been so nice to have you guys around to chat with and uh, work in comments with. Uh, if you are not uh, posting your art on Instagram, but on Facebook, I'm so sorry I'm not uh, in the middle of Facebook right now. Uh, again, I it's it's extra time that I'm that I'm struggling having anyway. Maybe this week I can get on there and check some messages. I know I I went through a few on Saturday when I had to get on there for for my niece's wedding. She is a married woman now. She's not my little girl anymore. So, uh, that's tough. That is tough to see that the little girl, I used to help practice the violin when she was uh, in fourth grade after school. She used to come to my house and we do homework and make fudge and draw and have all kinds of fun stuff, but she hated practicing the violin. But now she has graduated from the University of North Texas with a degree in uh, music performance, which is what my degree is in. And I'm so proud of my little girl. She is, she is an exceptional young men, woman in this world of craziness for kids that age, so. I don't know what I did wrong here, but uh, it just looks wrong. But I'm going to leave it because there are no mistakes in Zentangle, and uh, this is how it turned out. So I'm going to, once again, no, I'm going to leave my tile here, and I'm going to come over here and see what happens if I make this with my dorsal fin in the other direction. Now, I do not make any promises. This could be disastrous for me. Maybe this one will be long and skinny. Or maybe not. Just keep in mind, when you're not sure where to start your next stroke at, find the end, the bottom stroke of the one that came before and start there, right here. Okay. Let's join this up. And we may or may not tackle Punzel tomorrow or soon. Uh, we'll see how much you guys love or hate this tangle and sort of go from there, I think. 
I think it has definite possibilities, but when you start the Punzel process, then you're bringing a lot of thinking in. I'm just not sure that's where we want to be this 100 days in this world today. Um, thinking bad, art good. Simba is so depressed. He it has not eaten in two days. He's so sad. He cannot figure out why Mari left and didn't come back. And uh, poor baby. He is really having a part, hard time with it. He misses his boy. All right. So right here. And I'll admit it, I'm bad. I haven't eaten in two days either. So I just worry about my little pumpkin. So thanks for letting me talk about it with you guys. I appreciate that. I appreciate your patience with my unceasing chatter. Um, I realized a long time ago that part of the attraction here uh, for me is uh, feeling like I have someone to talk to which is why I have a counselor. And you know, that whole, that whole uh, online therapy thing, that works out pretty well for me. And I need it, goodness knows. Most of the people I know say, I don't need a counselor, I have you, Cindy. <laughs> That's not always a very safe alternative, I don't think, but that could just be me. All right, so we're going to leave that one. In some mystery there. And then we're going to go back and see what we can do. About making this interesting. Because right now, I'm not sure how interesting it is. Oh, I forgot some of my stars down here, I can tell. Thank you, John. All right. Uh, okay, so when I was playing around before, one of the things I noticed that helped this a lot was, of course, one of my go-tos, uh, rounding. And so I went down the line in each one of these places and just put a if I can put a slight bit of rounding in there. And it sort of just finishes off these edges where there's these little corners in. It makes them look more finished. Okay, and so I'm gonna go through on all three of these little changings and go for that. And I'm going to put some where the elements touch. Okay. That's actually an interesting... Look at that. Look at this right here. This line right here. This line coming out here. It looks like this element comes underneath this one. And sort of, I don't know, it's something interesting. Anyway, I, I kind of like that element. So I think uh, I've just got one more. Let's see if I can clean this up just a little bit. Okay, probably not like that, but we're gonna make it work for us. And round. And round that. Um, did I miss any spots? Okay. Now, I think I got them all, and if I didn't, we'll catch them as we go. Now, 
One of the things that I've seen embellishment wise is uh, the auras or echo lines like we have been doing. And it gives it a dressy sort of a finish. So I'm gonna do one of these in this fashion. I'm just taking my time, trying really hard not to get in a rush. As of course, you guys know that nine times out of 10 when I have problems with something, it's when I get in a hurry. So if you guys are drawing along with me, don't get in a hurry, take your time, breathe. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull together the elements of this particular uh, changing. Okay, and this. And this. So tell me how you guys did over Mother's Day. Did you guys have a good one? Did you struggle? How was it for you? Okay, I, I like this version. I think once we get some shading in there that it's going to be uh, much nicer. Um, and that's not to say we can't uh, do something whimsical in here like This is so hard for me. Putting sparkles in printant is so hard for me. So we can do that. Yeah, or any other tangle or fill or anything that you wanna do in here, you can do, okay? So I'm gonna go over here on the other side now and I'm going to do my dot dash version and see what that gets me. Oh, I really wanna do this one. What would happen if I did that? Let's find out. Let's go on a voyage of discovery. Mm, I so like this. I might have to do something different here. Oh, I like this. Check it out. See what I did? <laughs> Now I split this one, right? And it, and it went into that other one. I love it. I love it. If you ever wonder what's gonna happen, do it and find out. How cute did that turn out? You gotta admit it's cute. Uh, now what to do about this? Um, I'm just going to do it separate. And do it like that. It's not going to hurt anything. 
I'm going to shade this uh, under on this side and let that one take over. Now for this other one in the middle, and look, this one could go out this way. I love that uh, woven dynamic that I sort of accidentally discovered here. Um, so what could I do with this one? Um, let's do something completely different with this third element. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to put some, uh, parallel lines but slightly curved with sparkles. Sort of like this. Not sure how effective that was, but uh, let's go down here. Let's start here and curve this way. in a slightly different position for the sparkle. We want it to look, well, more natural. Okay, and so here. And so we're just gonna use this technique to give some uh, roundness To this yeah and when we shade this uh, we will emphasize the round and I really want to do the same thing here which is sort of take this off and go down here so uh, I think I'll make that decision here in a second because I have that opportunity here too which is kind of cool so uh, let me do these major elements first so relaxed I'm about to fall asleep <laughs> that's a good thing isn't it all right see there we go so for shading on this we're going to want to do um, the sort of holaba type shading where anywhere uh, some lines look like it's passing behind another element and we're going to want to put graphite right there so that it looks like it's beneath, right? So uh, anywhere, again, these come together. Try not to get too much graphite on any areas that you've blacked in so you can avoid that nasty shine. All right, and here. Okay, and here. Shading is really gonna pull this together. So I'm going to do the same thing on each of these elements, these three uh, changings. I really love how some of the uh, free spaces became part of this tangle or part of this um, tile, if you will, and uh, I'm not being very organized about how I'm doing this, 
I'm going from place to place and looking for areas where it goes behind and I'm just shading those. And usually I do some on both sides, not always, but sometimes. I just can't help myself. I'd really love to hear from you guys, by the way, on my tangle or my pattern marito. I won't call it a tangle because it's not apparently, but uh, some of you said you liked it. Um, uh, so be sure you tag me if you use that in your art. So I really, really, really want to see what you guys do it, do with it. Okay, and now moving on here to these same elemental spots where they go behind. And we're just going to enhance the overlapping sense here. And hopefully obliterate some of those little whoopses that, of course, I did not have. <laughs> I never whoops. Never. Okay, so I think I got all the spots. So the second place you're going to want to put a tiny bit of graphite is at the point, okay, of these elements. Because you're looking like you're coming from underneath something. And so we're just going to put a tiny bit of graphite at each place where these little points come out. So here and here. All right. And the shading on this is going to make a huge difference. I hope. I hope. Okay. And now the other place on, on this that I really want to shade is I want to um, emphasize <laughs> what I didn't manage to do with my lines, which is the sort of uh, conical, circular quality of these. Spherical, I don't know. Not a sphere. Conical, I guess. Anyway, so I'm going to do that by giving one side of this a really dark amount of shadow and uh, usually that will help somewhat with a rounded look and uh, there's one other place I will shade these to help that effect and if you're going to do that and these areas are going to overlap you're going to want your the area that looks seems to be the bottom most that's the area you're going to want to have the darkest And, you know, I'll probably take my black Vera Thin pencil and go in there and really uh, blacken those areas hard. Blacken them hard. Darken them vigorously. All right. I think over here, I'm just going to put a little bit on this edge. And here, this edge is just crazy. I don't know what happened with those lines, but I'm going to live with them. It's going to be all right. Don't give up on your art, guys. You don't always end up with something you like. Nine times out of ten, if you don't give up on it, you'll like it a lot better when you're done than you do now. All right, so tortillon time. So what are you guys thinking about today? What's going on in your countries or your states if you're over here with me in the states? Um, I avoid the news almost entirely most of the time unless uh, we've got weather or something like that coming in. So I don't know what's happening out there very well. And uh, so let me know if I need to pick up pick up and leave the state, let me know. 
I will definitely come back in with my black Varathin and really darken, darken this uh, bottom seaming layer. blend it out. You want to try to avoid any lines like these. And if you're having trouble with lines, then just like we did in the gym yesterday, move your tortillon in small circles and that will help you to avoid those lines. You can do that with your pencil as well. It's just a good all overall form, I think. Yeah, we definitely need some deeper uh, color in some of these spots so that we can differentiate between the layers that you get when you do this sort of thing. Did I get through there already? What do you guys think of this? Back it out a little bit. It's kind of fun, huh? This guy left, got left all alone over here because he thinks he is very special, but these two are all up in each other's space. I kind of like that. I actually really like that. This is day 35, changing. I really like how this tile turned out. I love these two together, and I might have to play with this some more. So thank you guys for being with me today. I really appreciate your time and your energy and your love. And uh, I want to see you guys again tomorrow for day 36. I'll see you then.